Hey, what's up, YouTube? Streaming some more of my A Rack with White Splash for Porphyry Nodes and Path to Exile. Um, yeah, I had to look that word up, Porphyry. It means it's a rock that contains uh, large, lots of crystals, like whatever crystals, quartz, or whatever. Um, but yeah, you say it Porphyry, and uh, yeah, I don't know what it has to do with sacrificing a bunch of creatures, but uh, it's kind of cool nonetheless. Alright, so, pretty good hand here. I'm liking it. I love the duress rip here. Um, anytime I see blue, I love duress. Alright, so he has got the old uh, confidence going to come out next turn. Uh, spell Snare I don't really care about. Pillar of Flame I might care about even less than the Spell Snare. So... It's just really a dead card discard at this point. Uh, I don't think I have any 2cc spells. Oh, I, no, I don't have any 2cc spells in here that I could think of, but I have, definitely have no creatures, so... So out will come Bob this turn. He'll get at least one with it. Oh, the Delver comes out. Kind of happy to see that. Draw land, and I will. Oh no! If I had drawn a land, I would have um, double Ravens crammed in. Oh, it does go to player. I guess I should have chose that. If that thing flips, I, I don't really care. <clears throat> My bridge will knock that out. I care more about the bob. Uh, so that's what I'll be path tags on. It. So, yeah, the it, this would theoretically be a dismember. Um, so, you know... It, It's better. It's definitely better, I guess. Um, I have to take three damage to freaking fetch and uh, uh, fetch an untapped planes mana or white mana anyway. So it's like, yeah, in this case, the dismember would have been just as good. But Still kind of make his life a little bit hellish. So I don't have to worry about any counterspell nonsense. I got the Thought Seize too. But this turn, um, I think I'll play the Lily and force him to sack that. There's two ways I could go here. He's got the Bob in his hand. I, I could cast the Thought Season, get rid of the Bob, play the Rack, and take another swing from the Insectile. I, I think that's probably the, the correct play here. I think that's what I'll do. You know, I'm taking a beating, but uh, you know, I have the bridge. start taking them down. So I'll probably most likely be playing the bridge next turn. Wow, he's got rise and fall. What's the other one? Rise is return. Yeah. 
creature back. And balance critter. This turn. Make him sack. I will. I got two lilies now, so my options are a little bit more wide. See what happens. Yeah, see that crushes right there. Um, I, I'm a little bit leery of of my plus wanting her, but I'm gonna do it. I will dump the other lily. It's a risk. It's a risk. If he, um, Pillar of Flames the lily right now. Ooh, crap. So he's got another burn for sure. That's a shame. Oh well. I'm gonna lose it right here. But I wanted to keep this because I don't want to bang it around too much. What is that? He's gonna do that on me? Okay. Why wouldn't he just hold the lily? Question mark, question mark. Look at the path, okay, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's put it down. He's playing ye old good stuff stack. Um. And I'm tempted. Suppression field. Nah. I not think anything I would need any of that for. The ley line is tempting because if the ley line hits and the bridge comes out, it's a hard lock. It's a, well, it's a pretty hard lock. Um, it's a sturdy lock, we'll put it that way. It's not a hard lock. But, uh. He's got a lot of critters. I'm just gonna let it ride. It's a solid hand to start with, it's a solid opening.
Yeah, so you get the idea of how um, ineffective counter spells are against this. Let's get that rise and fall. about it as much. I don't like that cryptic. I don't like that snapcaster. Cryptic, he's, he's a ways away from that. I'm gonna give it a snappy. If he wants to rise, follow me here, that's fine. So I lost my rack. It's probably the one thing I didn't want to lose. But what can you do? I can dump all of his cards. the Raven's Crime. Oh, and the Goyf I got. Pick that up. That's nice. I should have played the uh, Marsh Flats. That was a misplay on my part. Alright, well, I got this anyway. That's cool. Alright, and then I can start swinging with the old uh, Muta Vault. I don't know what you call that. It's green, blue, red, black. So it's like good stuffs minus white. I don't know what that's called, but it's pretty much what everybody does now. They just all decks are basically good stuff stacks. I might swing it into this. That's fine. If he does it again, I'll path it. Ooh, nice pickup. It's a good card, but it's not necessary right now, I don't think. I want to just keep swinging with this. range for sure now. Nice. Picked it up. So, um, a 
solid, strong victory. Um, I'll definitely upload this one later. Uh, let's take a look at the deck list real quick. Um, so far, I'm, I'm liking the White Splash. I think it's the least intrusive to the game plan. Um, like I said, this would be Dismember, and this would be DRS, Deathrite Shaman. Other than that, the deck is the same. So, I, I lose a win condition, but I pick up uh, a strong anti-creature package with these two. Um, the other weakness that I pick up is a susceptibility to Blood Moon, susceptibility to Tectonic Edge, and also some pain in the mana base. Um, the other advantage I pick up is some sideboard options. Now, whether or not this is going to be my sideboard, uh, you know, that remains to be seen, but um, it does give you more options. Uh, uh, most importantly, I, I think, is the ability to hard cast a ley line, which, uh, if you watch that video versus that I have up here versus Jund, uh, the match I lost, um, the ley line was good. It did, it did excellent work, and I had to hard cast it. So, you know, there's trade offs. There's definitely trade offs. I wouldn't say, you know, one's strictly better than another. But uh, it's good to have all of these tools in your toolbox and know when it's appropriate to use them. You know, first, what, depending if you have some kind of an idea of what you're fighting. So that's why I kind of do all of these things and post the videos up for you guys. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, if I post enough different variations, it'll, you know, you random Joe Watcher might say, hey, you know, this would be great in my meta, or the mono black one would be great in my meta, or the red splash would be great in my meta, green splash, whatever. So uh, let me know, I love the feedback, let me hear anytime I make misplays. You guys have been posting those, uh, noticing where I'd make a misplay or something, and that helps. So don't be afraid, please post them. Uh, I'll never get better until I identify where I'm making mistakes, and then strive to not make those mistakes again. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.